Good morning. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't have anything else to contribute. Say bless you right now. Big day today. It's our last day in Sydney. It's 7.20 now, can't even see that. We have to leave for the airport at like 10. So we got some limited time left here. He's flying home. He's going back to America. I'm flying to Melbourne, which I'm really excited about, but we have some things on the agenda before we leave. Bagels, coffee, pack, give a review of Sydney, get on a plane. So I'm gonna get dressed so we can tackle those first two bullet points really quick. This is my first time getting lock ever. So good. It's smoked salmon, red onion, cucumber, dill, capers, and cream cheese on an everything bagel. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Thoughts? It's really good. Say hi, vlog. What's the vlog? <laughs> oh, I was calling you because I had news to tell you. I lost my lock's virginity. Wait, you lost your what? Oh my god, what did you think? <laughs> Tyler! What? <laughs> oh my god, okay. Might I just say, that bagel was stunning. I still have a little bit of it with me. We went to a place called Brooklyn Boys Bagels. Felt like New York, felt like New York. But anyways, while I'm eating, gonna give you an honest review of my thoughts on Sydney. It was awesome, can't complain. If I had to attribute it to some kind of American city, which I know is like lame to do, but just for the sake of comparison, it feels like LA. There was a little bit more of an epicenter than LA has, but anyways. It was just a very spread out city with like a lot going on though. Personally, I don't think like if I didn't have anything going on here, I'd come back. I had some things typed up that I noticed about Australia that I thought was pretty cool, and then I forgot half of them when I went to type it, so I only have two things on here. But the first thing is that all of the outlets here have switches above them, which I think is awesome because that saves so much energy. The other thing is, is like most of the time, the crosswalks here are like one at a time, in the sense that it's like one side gets to go, whereas in America, how, like the parallels get to go at the same time here it's like only one goes and then the next one goes and then the next one goes and then the last one goes I don't know that was just like something I noticed I made it. I'm in the Sydney airport. Said goodbye to Brady. He had to go to the international part, which was like a far way away, so he took the Uber to the international while I got out here. Got a coffee, of course. What else am I gonna do? Let's be real. It's really good, soy latte. I have a lot of time until my flight. I wanted to get here early just in case. I didn't know if traveling domestically in another country as a citizen from somewhere else was gonna be a little different. I don't know why I thought it would. Definitely not gonna be at all. And it hasn't been, so that's awesome. It's kind of weird because I won't see Brady until like June. Maybe, if that, but he's on his way back to America and I'm on my way to Melbourne. Wow, this is awesome. I made it, I'm in Melbourne. I had to run off the plane to catch a bus. I'm a 90 minute bus ride, so this will be a fun hour and a half trip, but. I made it. That was a interesting journey. Before I talk about it, I don't wanna waste any time. You need to see this Airbnb that I booked. Okay, actually, let me turn all the lights on in here first. Hold okay, here's the door that you walk in. As soon as you walk in, it's like opening up to the living room. Kitchen's right to your right. It's awesome. It has everything you could need. Burner stove, microwave, fridge, sink, utensils, plates. She had everything for me. She did awesome. I'm going to be leaving an amazing review on this place. I already know it. To your left, little hallway. Go down, there's a mirror. Keep going, you're in the bathroom. Nice little setup, perfect little size. You don't need anything more. Awesome. Back out to the main living space. This is the little living room. Nice and quaint, nothing crazy. Oh, there's me in the mirror but that turns into a bed if you need it. Dining room table, TV, chair, awesome window right here. We'll get to the view in a second. If you turn around, there's a like, little work desk space. Then right across from this living room situation is the bedroom. It has this nice divide if you need it. Bed, this is like the wardrobe. There's a little bit of a corner space, lamp, fan, plant. Now, here's the money maker of this place. You might've been hearing some background noise the entire time I've been giving this tour. And that's because this has a private outdoor balcony with one of the best views I may have ever seen in the city. Right next to the bed, there's the bed, is the balcony. Glass door, awesome. This is the view. 
I mean, stunning, breathtaking, can't get enough, I need more. And this is it during the day. Imagine it all lit up at night. Like, be so for real. Be so for real. There's so much space up here. Like, when the sun rises, tanning. You have a view of an entire train station that looks so historical and beautifully crafted. Sorry, I'm being a tour guide right now. Just go with it. It is so beautiful and historically crafted. It's just stunning. There's a park over there. Probably gonna do some running at night. I mean, the architecture is just, look at that. Over here, clock tower, water. Genuinely blown away. This is awesome. I booked this on the fly. Somehow pulled this stunt on myself. Okay, going to get groceries. I just had like a jammed pack, jam pack day. It's not even over. It's like 5 p.m. The night is so young. I need to shower, I need to do laundry, I need to cook some food, I need to just exist for a second. So that's what I'm gonna do. Camera battery's charging. Locked and loaded for tomorrow, but that was my travel day to Melbourne. I love traveling alone because I just literally get to exist and do whatever I want to do. This is my first time doing it where I'm on a different side of the world and I'm in a different time zone than all my friends back home. It's a little bit of a weird experience because you're like really alone. Everyone I know right now is in bed asleep. So I don't know, gonna have the time of my life though. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Big vlog, next vlog. I don't know if I've talked about it yet, but there's a lot going on. Bye.